It is sunrise. Uh, sunrise is something that we're familiar with, obviously. It is uh, expected, it is predictable, and it's actually rather unsurprising. It's expected because we know that every day a new day comes, right? It's predictable because you can even pull out the charts and find out exactly what time the sun arises each day, uh, depending on the season of the year. And it's rather unsurprising because for most of us, uh, what we do is we wake up and we think about all the things that we did yesterday. You might have yesterday walked the dog or taken the kids to a practice, or maybe you uh, dealt with chores or errands or went to work. Uh, it's rather unsurprising in that way uh, because we think back on what we did and then we also evaluate what it is that we have to take care of today. This day, as we drink our coffee, plan our day out. That's kind of what sunrise brings to us. That very same thing is what happened uh, on that sunrise Easter Sunday morning. In the story that we are studying today, it's at the end of each of the gospel stories, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and we've been focusing on the story of John. It's found in John chapter 20. And it was on that Easter sunrise morning that it says Mary came, and we know that there were other women were in the other, uh, other women there in the other gospel accounts, but Mary came to the tomb to take care of the chores of the day. She waited through Saturday because Saturday was that Sabbath day that you don't do work. And it was a time of mourning for her because the one that she and many, many others had come to love had been crucified on a cross and then laid in a tomb on that Friday. And that Saturday they waited for the sunrise to take place on that Easter sunrise morning because she went there to the tomb to take care of the expected chores. She was there to, to wrap up the body and take care of the final details of the life or the death of Jesus at that point. She was there to, to, to uh, make sure that the body before it went into deep decay, uh, to, to deal with the issues that needed to be taken care of. And what was originally gonna be kind of the expected task of the day and the chores of the day all of a sudden uh, became something of an incredible, I'm not even sure I would call it surprise. It was the monumental event. The body was gone. That's Easter Sunday morning. That's what that sunrise morning brought about. <laughs> something that was expected became uh, unexpected. Something that was sort of unsurprising in a normal day of the day became an incredible surprise. Life was altered at that point, not just for her, not just for those early disciples, but for you and I. That's Easter sunrise, the resurrection day. You can find that for yourself in the scripture. Two little stories. One is, don't forget that this was the culmination of the Passover week. And we've studied all week in our devotionals that Passover story as it unfolds in the, the book of John. And then ultimately reflecting back on the book of Exodus when the, the blood of the lamb was placed on the doorpost of each home of people who trusted in him. And they were released from slavery because of that. But there's kind of another part of a story I wanted to remind you of another holiday. At Christmas season this past year, we had a a song that I dearly love that we sang and was sung to us and it's uh, on that Christmas Eve service and it said the song words were Noel Noel come and see what God has done sort of that um, expected birth of a child became the unexpected amazing and, and surprising understanding that the great I am had come that is what we really celebrate and enjoy on this sunrise morning. Noel, Noel, come and see what God has done. As you prepare for service this morning, on this sunrise Easter Sunday morning, I'm gonna encourage you to open your Bibles to John chapter 20. That's what you're gonna find. Noel, Noel, come and see what God has done. Turning 
the routine and expected and predictable kind of morning into the amazing and surprising and life-altering change that can take place in that Christ defeated the grave once and for all when we trust in Him. This is sunrise. This is Easter. Happy Easter to you. Let's celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the grave.